Baker Hughes has fallen more than 6% in a week. Options traders, though, piling into the name. John and Pete, a tells trader for unusual activity. That's where we're going to start. Doc? Exactly, Judge. And maybe a little bit because of the shift that's going on at General Electric. But somebody comes in, buys a lot of calls as the stock dips today. So stock's down 70 cents. Not necessarily the position you usually see people buying a lot, but they indeed did that today. Came in buying upside calls, which calls October 34 calls. So with these, November rather, 34 calls. So the stock is 31 and a half roughly. They're buying the 34 calls. I liked that one. Followed along with it, and we'll see. Stock was 67 bucks in uh, 2017. I don't think it. If Joe and I are right, that maybe we see higher oil prices. I think Baker Hughes GE gets a better bid. Lastly, uh, quick update on VST. We did it last Wednesday on the show. VST, which is Vistra Energy. This one, the calls are already up five times. So I've taken it off, exited the trade right now, Judge. All right, Pete, what do you have for us? I'm going to hit you with some Alcoa. Now, this thing was interesting because it hit just the other day. On Monday, actually, we saw it. October 1st, we saw some buyers come walking into uh, Alcoa as well. And now today we're seeing even further. They're actually rolling out of those calls already, Scott, that were purchased on Monday. And they're rolling out into these November 48 calls, trading over a little over a dollar for these. But you can see, nice numbers. I think it was 5,600 when we first saw this coming in. So is this thing ready to break out even further? Well, with its 48s, you'd think so. I like to see this kind of paper. $4 higher than it is right now, but you can see why they're taking off some of their profits. That's a pretty big jump today. So over the last couple of days, this stock has made a nice move. Now I've got an update. I'm in these, by the way, and I'm going to be in there through November. Okay. So I'm going to give you a quick update, though, on something else, because Intel, when we talked about this one on September 17th, we yeah. talked about some massive call buying come in there, right? It was just after the earnings in terms of the expiration cycle. November 2nd, these were going to be expiring. There were the 46 calls. Those have more than double today with this stock move that we've seen. They've gone from $1.50-ish back then, you can see down there by the circle, up to there now, over $3. And then we had that two days later, somebody buying the 47 strike in the same exact thing. So we're seeing this big move out of Intel. Those options are moving way faster right now than the stock. I love what we're seeing here in Intel. I believe in this stock. Once they get the CEO in place, Scott, I think this stock goes a lot higher. We've even seen people go out into January 2020 buying the 60 strike calls. So wow. a lot of paper coming in there.